This is a simple chart that shows the technological progress we made throughout history. What you notice here is that basically we did not do a lot for most of human history, because all we did was starve and kill each other. And then, if you look at what we did starting around the 80s, well, oh boy. And you can see it throughout the incredible transformation of cities around the world as well. This is a huge transformation for this amount of years. So we can of course say that technology is growing exponentially. Movies being created, which is still technology, songs being created, online courses, the number of words being created, planets being found, and I think we are just scratching the surface of knowledge. Then if you take a look at world population living in extreme poverty, 1820 to 2015, this is a huge deal, because we are on the verge of eliminating absolute poverty. We must consider that a huge innovation is also based on a downstream of small, ordinary everyday things that add up. And I have managed to put together a small list of things that have improved since the 80s and the 90s, and I'm sure that the list of someone growing up in the 1950s would include many troubles I've never known at all. So let's take a look at my list. First, I want to talk about food. And let's take the end of the 90s and slowly go through the beginning of the year 2000. I was a child back then, and I can still remember some of the struggles I and my parents had to go through. Hashtag Millennial Snowflake! I want to outline that grocery stores and supermarket chains are everywhere, and even mass market grocery stores like Trader Joe's stock a vast variety of foods, from exotic fruits to underground varieties of salami. Oh yeah! And this was unheard of a few decades ago. The keyword here is variety, right? Jack has a shopping list of what they've decided to buy. Soup, fruit juice, meat, vegetables, fruit, milk, butter, eggs and bread. And this applies to liquids as well, like tea, coffee, soda and even alcohol are now seen on a default ground. Jack chooses two cans of tomato soup and two cans of vegetable. Chemistry revolutionized beer, with new processes being implemented. And the same thing can be applied to similar things such as wine or cider. And if you want to go deeper, if you want to take a look at coffee, I understood that back in the 80s you actually had to grind your own. Nowadays one most likely will have to deal with the paradox of choice when talking about coffee acquisition. Coffee machines are everywhere, from bars to hotel restaurants and street corners, and even McDonald's, McDonald's, which provides a mass market type of coffee, figure out how to brew a decent cup of joe. Speaking about McDonald's, fast food has gotten a lot better. And I know, I know, fast food is bad for you and stuff, but this used to be a lot worse. A few decades ago, you had to actually cook sausages to death because of trichinosis and the rate of getting E. coli from meat also substantially declined. And nowadays, people are working on creating meatless burgers that taste exactly like a normal juicy one. And people are not able to tell the difference. And if you take a look at the kitchen appliances, we now have access to MasterChef level cookers and knives, and the places we eat improved as well. Remember when people used to smoke in restaurants? Because nowadays, even a smoking section is quite rare. Now let's talk about technology. Not about the sci-fi robot stuff, but the everyday life type of technology like clothes and keeping yourself warm and stuff. Because if you think about it, your everyday jacket now provides a lot more comfort, being thinner and lighter and warmer, thanks to the improvements of synthetic fiber. And your average house is now more insulated, with heat being proportionally distributed throughout the entire space, with less and less dead rooms in the house, or dark corner cold spots. And now we don't have to die because of asphyxiation, because we rarely have a stove. With intelligent vacuum cleaners and liquid solutions, people don't have to face the same amount of dust anymore. And even more tools such as lawnmowers or pig hammers are now mostly battery powered, unless air polluting. People can now afford multiple airplane trips a year, cars last longer, and the smartphone can now be purchased for less than $50. And you don't have to open a college fund to save up for a wheeled luggage. A wheeled luggage? I understood that this was a thing? This was hard to get? This was expensive? This? Oh, and I forgot. You don't have to worry that much about someone stealing your car radio or even your car, and in most cases you don't have to buy paper tickets to ride the public transportation system, because you can simply pay for the ride using your phone or your watch. Yep, that's right, that's right, you can actually leave your wallet at home. Clothing companies now started to burn tons and tons of clothes because it's cheaper than the cost of selling them. We have a valet at the movie theater, providing you exotic nachos and stuff, hell you don't even have to go to the movies as you probably own a huge size TV with energy efficient LED light bulbs surrounding you cozy rooms and food one click away. Oh yeah, and traveling got easier too. Surgery got better, TV's long rabbit ears also disappeared, and stuffed bunnies are now softer thanks to the materials we use. In terms of computer technology, things went crazy. I'm not gonna outline everything, but picture this. Rural people now have smartphones, and a decent internet and TV satellite connection, and we don't have to worry about playing phone tag. We can simply text 
Oh yeah, but people are not using the regular texting method anymore because it's cheaper to use the internet instead. And having a computer with 2GB of RAM is now considered weak. And you can also take a look at the evolution of the electric car, which will be a common thing in a few years, followed by self-driving cars. It's also very hard to get lost these days with the mapping systems we have. Information is also widely available, and books and obscure scientific papers can be found online for free. You don't have to worry about saving hard space or cleaning up the email and even the bounce ball. And you also don't have to deal with eye surgery because you stayed up late looking at your computer screen. You also don't have to buy software costing you thousands of dollars to remove the background of an image. You can simply do that for free online. Now computers require less power and the number of cables needed is slowly decreasing as well. With USB being used to recharge phones, tablets, watches and very soon brains, search engines got smarter and faster, everything is subtitled. And the fact that we are manipulating AI and VR technology is actually pretty awesome as well. Approaching the singularity and all that jazz, oh, I'm tired. Now let's talk about the quality of everyday life. Building on my restaurant analogy, people are more and more concerned about their health and well-being. They prioritize freedom and they don't worry about buying houses that much. Crime in most cities is just declining, even though MJ is now legal in many parts of the world. Same for teen pregnancy cases and domestic violence. You can ship something in a different country at a reasonable price and don't have to wait months and months for that package to arrive. Damn, you can even track your Uber delivery man when sitting on a toilet. Smoking is down, air quality is up, forest cover has increased and you can actually dive in a river from time to time. And people are now more aware of their surroundings and they recognize scams faster and are harder to rip off. And of course living in this day and age has a lot of more upsides than I can list here, but a huge list of downsides as well. But let's be positive, shall we? Let's think and reflect on things we don't have to deal with anymore, like calling someone from a phone that's tied to a building, or not knowing what time it is because you forgot your watch at home, and try to remind ourselves and reflect again that everything is amazing, but nobody is happy. <laughs>